everyone, welcome back to part 2 of fine tuning our thoughts. If you haven't watched part 1, I've given the link in the description. Do watch it and come back. Go. We concluded our last video by saying that our mind is occupied with the thoughts that we choose to focus or observe. And I also gave you a real time example for this. So, how do we use this to overcome negative, sorry, useless thoughts? Firstly, let's accept one ugly truth. We consciously choose to focus on useless thoughts. Whatever it is that we're thinking, and by thinking I mean focusing or observing, is solely based on our choice. If you're observing a useless thought that says, you're so stupid, you're not going to achieve anything in life, you are letting that thought take over. And it's your choice. So now you may ask, Neetika, is it wrong? Because when a thought like this appears in my mind, I automatically start observing it. It happens naturally. Is it wrong? No, it's completely fine. Our mind gives us so many thoughts and we naturally tend to dwell on negative thoughts. It's completely fine. It happens. Let's accept the fact that we tend to dwell on negative thoughts. Let's not be hard on ourselves for observing negative thoughts. Let's not force ourselves to remove that thought. That's not going to happen. Let's accept that negative and useless thoughts are part of our mind, part of our life. So the very first step in overcoming negative thoughts is to accept that negative thoughts do come and it's not a flaw or fault. The second step is awareness. If we want to overcome negative thoughts, we should be able to spot ourselves observing that thought. Sometimes without our own awareness, we start observing a negative thought and we go deep into it. And by the time we know that we are observing a negative thought, we are so deep, it already started disturbing our mind and killed our time as well. Now, this is where being mindful comes in. Being mindful means being in the present, being conscious about what is happening now. When we do some work, we often find our minds going somewhere else. Maybe it's going to think about a useless thought. Be aware that your mind is going somewhere else. To be aware, to spot your mind drifting, it is important to be mindful. It is important to be in the present so that whenever your mind drifts, you will be able to say. One important thing to understand is we can't bring awareness just like that. It takes time. It takes practice. Start by noticing one thought per day and slowly day by day, we can improve through practice and we will be able to completely be aware of our thoughts. Do not force anything. Take it slow. Once you're able to become aware of your thoughts, once you're able to spot whenever your mind goes into that negative thought, you can overcome that negative thought using the next step. Third and final step is to overcome our negative thoughts. How? Let's say you're having a negative thought and your mind starts observing it. Option one, which is widely suggested by a lot of people, is to replace that negative thought with a positive thought. Well, there's nothing wrong with this, but some people might feel like they are forcing their negative thought with a positive thought. Also, it needs a lot of practice. It can be hard and we may give up. Second option is, when your mind starts focusing on a negative thought, go with it. Give yourself the time. Observe that thought to how much ever extent you want. Once you're done, come back and start focusing on the work you were doing. Next time, when the same thought appears, Give yourself less time, observe and come back. Gradually, you'll get to a place where your mind drifts, start observing this negative thought. You'll give it a few seconds and come back. Third option is very similar to second one, but we add some spice into it. When your mind drifts, you start observing the thought. But when you're observing it, see if you can find something positive or something empowering from that thought. For example, let's say you're thinking about a rejection that you faced in the past. Try to find something positive in there. Maybe it made you work harder. Maybe it got you into something better. Or maybe the rejection motivated you to learn more. See if you can get something good out of that bad thought. So that next time when the same thought appears, you can simply say, oh, it actually helped me. I have my lessons. And you can bring back your focus and start focusing on your present. If you couldn't find anything positive or empowering, fine, just go with the second option. But the key here is time. Give yourself enough time. Time is the major factor in letting go. I hope the suggestions would help. Let's accept ourselves. Let's accept our minds. Accept how it thinks. Accept the negative thoughts. Accept the overthinking. Accept first. 
Don't be hard on yourself. Don't force yourself. And then take minus steps to change it. Let's remember not to force anything. Forcing only makes things worse. Let's give ourselves the required time to accept and change. Also, let's not underestimate small changes. Let's not underestimate short-term practices for long-term benefits. Let's not underestimate practice. More importantly, let's not underestimate our mind and what we can do with it. Remember, acceptance, awareness, only then overcoming. Hey everyone, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next week.